And uh, as I mentioned in the at the end of our fireside chat, I'm going to be going through prizes and some details on on the competition uh, or the hackathon rather. So uh, we'll go through that, and then at the end of this, I've got a quick team formation exercise for everybody, and with the goal of allowing you all to mingle, sort of get to know each other, introduce each each other to yourselves, and um, with the idea that you should hopefully get a team formed over the, the course of the weekend. That's that's what we're hoping for here. So let me take you through a few slides to talk about our hackathon prizes. Um, so to start with here, we have the, uh, we, we've broken our prizes into several categories. So a couple things to note is that like with many hackathons in the space, you are potentially eligible for multiple prizes. You should let us know on your submission, which ones you're, you're going for. Uh, all all projects will be entered into the Luminary uh, Award for Developer's Choice. So anything that's getting that gets submitted will get voted on by all of you. Um, but I, I'll take you through the prizes from left to right here. So the first is the Ignite Prize, which is that's our grand prize for the hackathon, and that is going to be awarded to the best DeFi DApp. Um, it must include a Chainlink Oracle, um, but it doesn't necessarily need to be something new. It can be an implementation of a popular app in Ethereum. It can be um, something that you have uh, thought about. You, you could adjust one of our existing uh, DeFi components that will help you walk through later this week. Um, the next, and, and again, we have a grand prize and a second place for Ignite. Uh, the next one over is the Revelation Prize. And really the goal here with Revelation is that the Agoric system operates a little bit differently. We have different frameworks, we have a different security model and an access model um, that, that we use. And we wanna see what kinds of things that you, you can actually do with that that are new. Uh, so the goal is uh, as you're getting into the Agoric platform, as you're starting to play around with our concepts, uh, what creative thing can you build uh, that potentially we haven't seen before? And that does require a Chainlink Oracle as well. Next is the Velocity Prize. So Velocity is really about enhancing our Chainlink integration. So uh, in some of the earlier talks, we we uh, pointed out areas where our Chainlink integration could could use help, could use additional um, logic, for example, that is built into standard Ethereum contracts. Um, that's something where you'll likely want to connect with our developers. We've got um, everyone is available on Discord, and you should please just reach out to me, reach out to the team in general. Uh, and we can help guide you, but a bunch of areas where our Chainlink integration could use help, and we've got a special award for that. Uh, next is the Refract uh, Award, and that is for best user experience. So you may have seen earlier, Kate had dropped something in our YouTube comments where if you want to build a UI on top of our loan contract, for example, that would uh, obviously qualify you for Refract. We're, we're looking to see what you guys can do in terms of building you know, slick user experiences on top of the Agoric platform. Uh, and then finally is Luminary, which I mentioned before, uh, anyone that submits a project will have the ability to vote on the other projects and uh, the winner there gets $1,000. So uh, Dean mentioned this earlier on, but uh, some, of the, the, some of the prize will be paid out in link tokens, some of the prize will be paid out in US dollars. Uh, so we'll, we'll uh, follow up with additional details on that as we um, as we move forward through the hackathon. All right. Uh, so really, just in general, you know, I went through the different categories that we have. I, I want to talk about what it is we're really looking for at the end of the day, uh, and, and that's really just creativity. Can you can you build a component and explain to us why you think that it will be meaningful um, and you know, aside from making sure that you have oracles on, in the categories that require them, uh, we're not necessarily going to hold you to, to specifics. We really just want to see what you can do. And so build something that you think is going to be useful, that is creative, um, that utilizes the Agora platform. And, and please reach out to us for help uh, because we've got plenty of ideas for, for how you can potentially execute that depending on what you want to do. Uh, but really what I want to stress here is if you have a specific project that you're really keen to work on, uh, don't let the prize categories deter you from doing that. We'd much rather have you build something that you really want to build, and we can figure out how to make sure that you qualify for some set of the prizes. Uh, and, and the longer term goal really here is 
community. Um, so forgive the forgive the, the bad joke here, but um, we we really are looking to build a long term developer community. And as as Dean mentioned earlier in the day, some of you may not have been around for that talk. Um, we are launching our mainnet next year, and so that means we want to start building the community now. We want developers that really understand what it is we're trying to do and see the value there uh, to build with us, to help us understand how to communicate it better, uh, to provide input, to start building components. You know, it is obviously all open source. So please join us. Please dive into what we're building, argue with us about security, uh, and and just get involved on, on Discord, um, over email, how, however you prefer. Um, because really what we're looking to do is as we approach mainnet, we will be doing more formal community building things. And uh, obviously the participants in this hackathon and you know our next early events are gonna be the first people we reach out to because we really do want those people that have been with us since the beginning here. Okay, so just some quick logistics. Uh, the submission deadline for your project is Saturday, November 21st at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, your project code needs to be on GitHub and the presentation or the submission itself should be a video, a recorded video or a slide deck walkthrough. Um, we want to see your code. We want to understand what you've built. We want to understand the use case and why you think it's useful. Um, not listed on here, uh, but important to note is you don't actually have to be live on testnet to submit. Uh, if you're using a sim chain, that is sufficient. Uh, if you've connected to testnet and there will be some, uh, we'll have some guidance later this week or excuse me next week on how to do that uh, but if you have managed to do that that that's just bonus points um, but we have some additional guidelines code of conduct that sort of stuff check it out on the hack the orb site if you want some more details or reach out in discord and there will be two check-ins so the first check-in is this coming monday and that's really just to make sure that you know you've, it's been a couple days maybe you've had an opportunity to talk to some other team members we want to see what teams have formed who's sure about what they're building and then more importantly, who is still looking for a project or looking for a team so that we can reach out, help you connect with people, um, try to make sure that you're you're engaged and that you've got a, a, a project that you're excited about moving forward. So that's what the check in is on Monday. And then on Friday, we really are hoping um, that anyone that is planning to submit a project uh, for judging will be able to check in on Friday and be clear about what that project is and um, what, what we should expect. Um, and, and that's largely just so we can make sure that we, we uh, organize our judging appropriately and all of that stuff. So um, those check-ins will just take the form of a survey through Discord or email, and uh, that, will, that will come out on Monday. All right, um, so team time. So just rolling straight into it here, uh, and we've mentioned it a bunch of times during the day, but please join our Discord, introduce yourself. Uh, we have a team formation channel for that. We also have an ideation channel if you wanna start pitching projects. Obviously, don't feel limited to that. You can pitch projects in team formation and vice versa. Um, it, you should have an invite in your email. If you don't uh, and you feel like typing in the invite that I've created below here, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but do make sure to join our Discord because not just for team formation, but that's where we're going to be uh, allowing you to access support, both for Agoric and for Chainlink. Uh, both Patrick and Keenan will be on the support channel throughout the hackathon. And uh, that's where we'll be making announcements and doing a lot of coordination. So we wanna make sure that you guys do get in there. Um, and apologies in advance for telling you to join our Discord five or six more times over the next couple of days. 